good morning everybody it is day turn left onto hefka drive oh, then turn now, right onto sorry. badminton day... road what day is it today it's a friday but i'm trying to figure out how many days we've been in lockdown um yeah day eight day eight turn right onto um, badminton road sorry about my sat nav um yeah so it, we've been in lockdown for a week and a day um not like it mattered i was already in a four week fucking lockdown before that point um so i've basically just been working all week like in tesco and then also doing uni work oh there's a lady coming she's gonna see me chat so i just want to get out of my road Okay, and we're out. Okay, so yeah, this is the first time I've actually like done In stuff. In 1.9 like, miles at the I've, roundabout, um, take the third exit onto the A4174. B&M and arrange stuff a couple of times. So I'm gonna go there today as well, if I've got enough petrol. Um, so I'm meeting my friend Ella for a walk and a coffee. Um, yeah, that's actually what's gonna happen. We're going to Clifton. Um, I'm picking her up because she's in Clifton. Um, yes, I've, I just thought I'd, feel, because I'm also gonna do a pamper night tonight, I'm gonna hate, um, laminate my brows. Should've bought some tint as well, but, and gonna put on my candles, do some yoga, la do a lash lift. What she said? Oh no, that's someone else. Um, and I've bought the 3D Crest whitening strips. Um, now, my mum has scared me a bit from doing this because, my teeth are basically really sensitive like i used to in like primary school i used to be able to not drink water because it, that would hurt too much um and when i used to have like i basically have a tooth at the back and it's so dead <laughs> basically and he puts like a cap on it um and when he would he would like sp spray my all my teeth with air just air and it was the worst pain I have ever been in. So why the fuck am I using using really strong whitening strips when he's told me if you ever use whitening strips, your teeth will break. <laughs> so we're gonna see how it goes. Um, <laughs> see what happens. Just because I, I really am in a rut with my appearance. I hate what I look like recently. Like in I'm, one mile I'm so the roundabout, insecure. take the third exit onto the F four one seven four. I've been a total psychopathic bitch um to my boyfriend because <laughs> i'm just so insecure with my appearance so i'm hoping that i can do this and feel less like a little naked mole rat that's why i put on makeup today i just wanted to feel a bit more attractive <laughs> so yeah i've really honestly i've i've just gone so downhill in like oh my mental health <laughs> like the last vlog when i was on the train coming back to bristol i've never i have like social anxiety but not like you know like a diagnosed type of thing i'm just very shy i'm very socially awkward um i get like anxious more like scared than like a proper you know anxious that i'm not even looking at the proper camera sorry um but when I was waiting for that train, I honestly, when people talk about panic attacks, I think I was having a mild panic attack because I could not breathe. I literally had to take off my mask, not on the train, this was um, like on the platform. And I always get like nervous with trains, but just like, am I gonna make it or stuff like that. I enjoy when I'm sat on a train, but it just gets like, scares me. Um, I don't know why. And I was literally, Oh, that was the worst I've been in. I thought if this train does not come now, I am going to either throw up or I'm going to go into a full on like. At the lights, at the roundabout, fit. take the third exit onto the four one seven four. It was horrible, and I don't know why it happened. I just overthink things. Anyway, positive notes. Um, yeah, I'm. This is the first day I haven't worked, so that's why we're going to go for a walk. Going to get a coffee. I had. I've bought these coffees. Um, from where are they from i'll find the pack for you and i'll show you but they're just like sachets that you can pour in and it has like everything and you just pour hot water and it's i normally have the caramelized honey one but 
this is a cinnamon bun latte and it's really nice like really nice it tastes like a chai latte oh my god i've been filming for five minutes sorry <laughs> um but yes yeah, so then i'll do my pamper thing tonight and do my brows and hopefully it works and hopefully i feel nice i was gonna buy a gel nail kit but my and do my nails but my um mum's gonna get me that for christmas so i kind of have to wait which is a bit annoying but yeah i'm gonna go to i'm gonna try and go to the range and b&m to get some christmas presents because i want to start on getting some christmas presents and my friend megan her birthday is on november the tw god i'm gonna get killed for this 21st 22nd of december is is 20th one of those three days. Is Mr. Oh, everyone's asked. Oh, everyone's asking about the um, lash lift and teeth whitening. Well, we'll soon find out later on. But yeah, I've been. I watched this girl's TikToks and she. Still red. I can't fucking see. Um. Yeah, and she basically is doing law at like some uni and she's like American in like a British uni. And she does these like videos where she like is really productive on a night time. So she'll like light her candle, she'll get her glass of wine and just like work. And I'm like, oh, that sounds so nice. So I was gonna do that tonight and get loads of work done because obviously I can't really in the day now. But then I realize I'm working at six in the morning tomorrow. So. That's always fun. And, God, I'm sorry, I'm just In three quarters of so a mile, at a roundabout, take the second exit onto take Filton Road exit. towards the M32. Yeah. I hate driving and like to Filton. <laughs> Not Filton, Clifton. Um, yeah, and so the uni has basically come out and said that they are giving dates to people of when to leave. So I'm a social science. I'm a social science or humanities? I'm sociology. I'm a social science, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Either way, they're all the, those are the those are breaking up and everything's going online, like mine's online anyway. From the 30th of December of November. So basically I thought I'm not gonna stay here for the whole four weeks. I'm gonna I had a ticket booked for this Sunday to go back to uni, but I wanted to at least get another week of working in. So I'm working next week and I'm going to go back to uni on the Saturday and then I'll be back for like a week and a at bit the lights, or like two weeks. At the roundabout, um, take the second exit on the Filton Road towards the M32. Because I think I will be coming back the on the third or the fourth. Um, so yeah, that's my plan and then I won't go back because I was going to come back on like the 7th or 9th anyway once I'd actually finished uni. So that's the plan so at least i get another two weeks like at uni and then i will come back get my nails done and in three quarters of a mile at the roundabout the take the first months. exit to merge onto the m32 nice. towards bristol if you really can't hear me because of this sound right i'm going to turn you off because i'm about to get on the motorway oh god they've changed the layout of i have not driven to town in a while um yes <laughs> Hello everybody. Oh um I had a lovely walk with Ella. Um I don't think I filmed anything. We went like ages, we went like round Clifton and everything. Um however I just Can cars blow up? Because He's slowing down. Um, I just stopped at a red light and my car started violently shaking. And now I've got a light that has a screwdriver going through the car. Um, and I was going to go to the range and BM &M and I was going to film it for you guys, but now my mum's like, get straight home. And the car's going slow. <laughs> like I'm on the motorway and it's struggling going 40. And like I tried, and, like I took it out of gear and everything at the red light. And it was like shaking. <laughs> they can't blow up, can they? Cars can't blow up. Like it would just be a fire and then goes right. I would stop. I'm not gonna die. <laughs> ah! Fuck's sake! I literally have an MOT soon. My brother fucked this car up. 
Oh God, I wanted to go be an M. She's gonna take me later, but I wanted to film it, you guys. I was gonna have a nice day. I need it to be fair. I do need to take out my. Oh my God, it's literally. It, this does not feel safe. I bought some presents. However, I'm now about to do my teeth thing and do that lash and eyebrow lift. Um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. And look how bad my skin is. Yeah, I'm gonna do the lashes, the eyebrows first. So we'll see how I do that. Okay, so I'm watching this girl Erin's video. Um, so I basically brush them up with glue, put on the perming solution, and now I do this for ten minutes. Oh, I need to set a timer. They're burning, like it's burning my eyebrows. And she said don't leave it on for too long because like they'll frazzle your brows, but like it's it's burning my skin. Whether that's because I might have used too much of the I put it on my skin and it didn't um irritate me, but maybe that's because I wasn't having that. I don't know. But it is burning. Okay, I'm on to the fixation. And I've got some white wine. Ooh. So yeah, I'm onto the fixation and then I just have to cleanse and get all that eyebrow. I really hope this works and that they stay up like this. Because this one looks cute. This one has always been a bit dodgy because I cut him a bit weird. Okay, brows are done. I need to, I'm going to buy some tint tomorrow because the ends are very pale. Obviously I'll fill them in but yeah, I don't know whether the product's still in it or... It's a bit sticky, but I'm just eating my pizza, but I'm going to do my eyelashes afterwards. Yeah, I don't know if they're done. I don't know. So this is currently what's happening. Cheers. Okay, they've come out so good. Mainly this one rather than this one. But... Where's the uh, ice cream? Good morning, everybody. It's currently nine. Show me my keys. Nine forty-five, Saturday morning, and I've just finished my shift. Um, yeah, it was like six in the morning. Um, I don't know what I last filmed, but me and my mum had some cocktails last night. Um, this is what my brows look like. Um, so they're looking quite good. My eyelashes on this eye. Can I zoom in? No. Look really good. This eye, not so much because. That was the first time I'd done it, and obviously on that eye. Um, so I kind of, so it's, there's only like three lashes. Like they're stuck up, but they just look a bit clumpy and not really that great. Whereas the left eye, wonderful. So I bought some um, Ilia eyebrow dye because I'm going to do my eyebrows tonight. Um, I don't know whether the, I mean, my teeth are whiter, but the crest ones, I don't know whether they're fake or not. Because online I saw if they had like the writing, then they, like this certain, writing then it, they were fake but then all of the Lux ones which is the ones that I have look like that so I don't know whether the Lux range is just fake or I don't know but I'm gonna do them again tonight um I just bought this because Tesco have 25% off clothing this little Christmas jumper and it's from the kids section but I thought oh it's cute because I always wear the same bloody might as well leave um I always wear the same red Christmas jumper and it's like cropped and has a little snowman on it but I'm gonna be working so oh, so right I have a lot of stories to say right so <laughs> number one one of my managers um wants to put me for, like um on the thing for what's it called greeting like where you're downstairs greeting people um at Christmas and he was like yeah because you're confident confident someone said I was confident fake it till you make it bitches fake it till you make it I'm probably the most shy, anxious person. I think it's just because work. I don't give a shit about customers. Do you know what I mean? I don't care what they think. 
<laughs> but anyway, right, so yeah, these stories from work, right? So basically, um, they might not want me dealing with customers after if this lady goes to head office about me. So the other day, basically, there's a lady called Chris, and I went, I was taking her off, but I went to the toilet. And so she finished at seven, and when I came back, she was, she was, had to do this other person's thing. So it was like now like 10 past. So she was pushing the lady's things down, and this lady just goes, Can you stop fucking putting it down? I'm trying to, blah, 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 trying to pack, you're rushing me. Blah, blah, blah. And then so Chris was like, Oh, I'm really sorry. And, um, because she's like an old lady, um, Chris is. And this, this woman was like 24, 27. Um, and then when she got out her purse, um, the lady was like, I know Chris was like, oh, um, do you have a club card? Because that's what you're meant to ask. And when you don't ask and they forget to scan it, they get really annoyed. So she said that and the lady was like, can you not see him fucking getting out my club card? And it's like, fuck. So then Chris left and I, the lady then had some more shopping. So um, I was then doing that part. So I done it and then I wanted to be a bit of a little bitch and see if she'd bite again. So I was like, do you have a club card? <laughs> and she was like, um, she's like, why is it with you lot asking for my fucking club card? I was like, oh my God. And I was like, excuse me. I was like, I don't um, appreciate you speaking to me like that. Um, you were also really rude to my colleague. She had to go home at seven and she was staying here just to be nice because she could have let you wait until I came back as it was my fault. And she was like, no, I'm the customer and she would need to serve me. And I was like, actually she doesn't, she clocks off. She was like, it doesn't matter if she clocks off, she still has to do things for the customer. And I was like, actually no. And then I was like, if that's your logic, I will happily get off out of my deal and not serve you. And then um, I was talking to her about like the club card things, how you need to ask. And then um, I was like, when I gave her the receipt, I was like, respect comes both ways. If you want me to be nice to you and give you great customer service, then you can't act like a dick, basically. And she was like, what is your name? I was like, Sophie. She was like, oh, you'll be receiving an email from head office. I was like, all right, bitch. And I was like, bye, Karen. And then she went down the escalator and you could tell she realized that she had been really rude. And she was just just had her back to me because I was like staring at her. <laughs> but like I don't care if it's customer service. If you are rude to someone who was literally helping you, because then it turned out Chris didn't actually finish. She was just going on a break, and um, she came back down. She was like, she looked quite upset. She was like, Sophie, was I rushing that lady? Like, was I pushing her stuff through really fast? I was like, no, you're really gentle and everything. So yeah. And then another story, right? So. That's what I thought that the, this man was, the manager was going to talk to me about today. He was like, come on, today. I was like, oh, fuck me. Here we go. Am I going to be fired? <laughs> and then, so basically, the other day, me and Jackie were on self service, and this lady just screams. And so, what happened was, she had a home bargains trolley, and she um, went into her bag and let go of it because it doesn't have magnets. If it's not a Tesco trolley, it's not going to have the magnets to stick onto the escalator. So it literally, she screamed so. Sorry, my car's making weird noises again. <laughs> um, oh, um, yeah. It, she, it went screaming, and then you literally saw this man's head. If you know um, the Tesco that I work at, if you're from self service, you know, like he was at the like near the bottom, and he flew like up so that I could see him. Which, yeah, if you know the Tesco, it's like a long fucking way up. And the security guard was like, I've never seen someone fly like that. And this man was quite a chubby-ish man, like a normal size, but he was quite muscly. And um, so basically the full trolley had gone so fast. Imagine a full trolley just going down a hill, like literally that was what it was. Smacked this man into the back, he flew up, and then he was then trapped between one of the trolleys that was Tesco's. So like one of the ones that was um, like, had the magnets and then this one and he was just squashed and then he was then on the ground so we me and Ru Jackie rushed down Liz is at the top trying to stop the conveyor belt but she can't because it's going down and she's trying to stop it and then um he's literally led at the bottom with this conveyor belt going his like fingers getting like taken under whilst this trolley is just like g doing cartwheels over him and so the security guard had picked up the trolley and like chucked it over the side 
And then so we grabbed this man and like then the conveyor belt stopped. And this poor man, he honestly, he probably didn't even know what happened because by the man she screamed, it would have already hit him because that's how fast the trolley went. So literally, oh God, I thank God it was him, which sounds really bad, but thank God it was him because if that was a child, an elderly person, or even someone like me, who's just, you know, cause he's, he was bigger, he was a big man. They honestly would either have broken something or died. A child, unless, depends where it hit them, probably would have died. Thank God it wasn't like a, a young lady with her baby or something, or an older woman, or an older frail man. God, it's honestly, it did pick the best person to hit, if that, even though that sounds really rude, but he was completely dazed. He had like bruising all down his hands, but he was completely out of it. Jackie was talking to him, and then he was just sat um, with our manager just on the phone. And then I think he got picked up. They didn't even call the hospital. But to be honest, if I was him, I would just want to go home and go to the hospital like by myself. Because the lady who hit him was just in hysterics. She was having like a full on panic, panic attack. And she was just, it was really honestly traumatic. It was really traumatic. Um, and then I like got some of her stuff because obviously where he had the security guard chucked it over some of her stuff had like broken and then at the end they were like so if you shouldn't have done that because it was actually her fault because she had a home bargains trolley she said she got it from the thing but like you would know if you were going up because me and my mum have had it before where we've gone up and it's like you know been loose because it doesn't have the magnets and when we were going down it took both of us to hold this trolley all this way horrible neighbour Oh, Christopher. <laughs> but yeah, that's it.